I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on interaction of lines with planes. The question here is calculate the intersection between the following objects. If they don't intersect, find the minimum distance between them. So we are given two equations here xyz equals to 3, 4, 5 plus t times minus 8, 7, 2, and then xyz equals to minus 1, 0, 1 plus s 1 2 3 plus r 5 0 minus 3 you can pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestion so the two objects given to us are the first one has got one parameter so that is the line the second one has two parameters so that's the plane right so we have these two objects we need to find intersection between them if they don't intersect then distance between them now the best way to find intersection point is that when you are given in vector form the equation of the plane write it in Cartesian form right so that is and then substitute the value of XYZ find parameter T and then the value of the point right so we'll begin by finding the normal to the plane so that is let us say this is the line for us and this is the plane for us okay so we'll find normal to the plane so we can find normal to the plane by writing cross product of these two vectors right so the cross product I normally find with the matrix right so you could use any way so we are finding cross product of 1 2 3 in 5 0 minus 3 so write 1 2 3 here 5 0 minus 3 right so that is the normal vector for the plane right so these are my unit vectors i j k so that gives me i 2 times minus 3 minus 6 minus 0 minus j right minus 3 minus 15 right so that becomes j plus k 0 minus 10 so I could write this as uh, minus 6i and this becomes minus minus plus 18j and minus 10k right so that becomes the normal vector in this particular condition right now from this normal vector we can find equation in the cartesian form we know the point right so that is the point so we can use this point and find the equation in cartesian form so we say minus 6x plus 18y minus 10 J plus D should be equal to 0 right now instead of X Y Z will substitute the point minus 1 0 1 so I hope you understand what I'm writing here so that is my Cartesian form of plane right so we are writing plane in Cartesian form right that is the normal which we have used correct now we need to find d we'll use the point minus 1 0 1 here right so minus 1 we get minus 6 minus 1 plus 18 times 0 minus 10 times 1 plus d equals to 0 and from here we get d equals to minus minus plus 6 we'll take it to the right side because minus 6 this is 0 and minus 10 becomes plus 10 so we have d as equals to 4 right so the equation of the plane I can write as minus 6x plus 18y minus 10j plus 4 equals to c right so that is the plane that is the plane for us right so this is the plane in Cartesian form as far as the line is concerned we could write uh, the values of x y z in the form of the parameters x is equals to 3 minus 8 t y equals to 4 plus 70 and z is equals to 5 plus 2 t right so these x y z values can now be replaced by by them and we can find the the values for for t right and then substituting t will get the answer correct so I'll substitute these values here so we have now 
minus 6 times instead of x we'll write 3 minus 8t plus 18 times 4 plus 7t minus 10 times 5 plus 2t plus 4 equals to 0 right so now you can open the brackets simplify this equation so we have minus 6 times 3 is minus 18 plus 6 times 8 48 t 18 times 4 36 64 right uh, no let's do it so 18 times 4 72 uh, plus 72 minus 7 times 18 120 60 I mean plus and minus 50 and this is minus 20 T plus 4 equals to 0 right so now we can combine all the T's which is uh, 48 plus 126 minus 20 equals to 154t right so we could write this as so let me write it on the right side anyway we'll write here 154t we'll write 154t and as far as the constant is concerned so we have uh, these terms we have plus 4 minus 50 and then plus 72 and then minus 80 equals to 8 right so this is this is plus 8 equals to 0 right so from here we get the answer 8 divided by 154 with a negative sign oh sorry so 8 divided by 154 will put negative sign there so we can now let me move from here to this place correct so so what we get from here is or you can say t equals to minus 8 over 154 and that gives us t equals to 2 is common so we'll say minus 4 over divided by 2 so 77 so that's the value of t right now once you know t you can find x y z points right so now we can calculate the values of x y and z so x is equals to 3 minus 8 times negative 4 over 77 right so that makes it positive here you can calculate this value y equals to 4 plus 7 times negative 4 over 77 okay and z equals to 5 plus 2 times well negative 4 over 77 right so we can use calculator calculate these values write out the answer right so we have 8 times 4 divided by 77 plus 3 equals 2. So we have this answer as 263 over 77. And then we have uh, 4 minus within brackets 7 times 4 divided by 77. That is equals to 40 over 11. And then we have 5 plus within brackets let's use 5 minus so 5 minus within brackets 2 times 4 divided by 77 bracket close equals to 377 over 77 right so these are the points which we get so our answer here is that the line intersects the plane and the points are 263 over 77, 40 over 11, and 377 over 77. Correct? So that is the method to adopt in such cases. So first step is write the vector equation in Cartesian form. Find the equation, right? And then substitute and find the parameter. Once you know the value of t, then you can find the point on the line. That helps, I hope. Thank you and all the best.